Rubik is becoming a thing in Southeast Asia. You know, it's actually a thing in China too, but it's not not the first pick. China first picks always be something like a bounty hunter or Riki. Five seconds remaining. I would like to see some shuttle fame from Team Faces today. Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon first. Ooh, I mean, he got to deal with this such a strong combo. This is actually the first time we see this combo today. Shadow Demon and Luna. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. You know, reserve time, sorry, for Team Minesi TT Network. What's it gonna be? Spend too much time on this one. It should be. I don't think they should pick two supports together and then they pick two support together. I am not the fans of the first two pick supports. I know they want to secure the support first, but it will be quite easy for Faces to ban out. You know, they don't have to ban more supports. They all need to aim the core heroes. And it was Sniper who get banned this one. Radiant team ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <clears throat> Dire team ban. <sighs> Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Life stealer. Radiant team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time.
Timbersaw! Dire Team Pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Timber Spirit. Radiant Team Ban. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. <laughs> Dire team ban. Dire team pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Sand King. Radiant Team Pick. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Ten seconds remaining. Ursa Warrior. Prepare for battle. Oh. Okay, here. Faces start the game in a radiant side. Nuts on your demon. Black or Luna. 
Alpha on, um, sorry, um, Japs on Earth Star Warrior, Ice Ice Side on Timasaur, and X1 on Earth Spirits, Vinesky on the Dire Side, uh, Baski, Mekasi on Life Seal on Miracle and Owl on Ember Spirit Ninja Boogie on Rubik Jules on the Ogamakai, and RR on Sand King. The whole team smoke to the top lane, boys. Shout Demon. 30 seconds to battle. Uh, dropping some obstacle wards around here. Nothing much. It seems to be a three boundary runes for Team Minesi. That is the um, disadvantage of grouping up right from the start. You should just split. The battle begins. Hello? Test? Hello? Test? Uh, I think- I don't think my mic date in-game. Hello? Woo! Right, no. Nah. Update. Okay, back to the lane. Let's take a look. In the middle lane is Miracle on Ember Spirit versus Gaps as an Urza Warrior. It's gonna be quite hard lane for Miracle, this one. Oh, Korea video. The Lightning Korea. Bottom lane. The target is Ice Ice Ice, but he's just gonna team a chain away. Luckily, he adds team a chain as his first skills. So Tima Chain Rubik, uh, I'm sorry, Tima Chain Earth Spirits with the Thrite Lane from Team Ineski. Life Stealer, Rubik and Ogamakai. Top Lane, Solo Sand King with the Duo Lane from Faces, Black or Luna, and Nuts on the Chow Demon. Let's take a look at the bottom lane, it's gonna be quite interesting. Middle lane, Jaff's diving in a little too deep near the tower. Man, every lane got potential to have a first blood. Don't know which lane I should focus. I might miss the first blood, this one, to be honest. As you can see, both lanes clashing. And the first blood might be this lane. Uh, Burrow's trying, trying to get away from the loose end beam. Black, another loose end beam coming out soon. But it's just not enough damage to take a Sand King down. He's quite fast. They got a boot first for Sand King. Who is here to pick up the power rune? I'll take your tribute. XY rolling boulder away and pick the body rune inside. But how can he get away? He's just gonna teleport. First blood right here. Miracle coming in quite deep to kill Child Demon. With the help of Sand King and the shrine is gonna keep them healthy again. I wish I could have a shrine near my house though, you know, so every time that I went out and playing some sports when I was tired, I could just go to shrine and doing some sanctuary. Must be great. Back on top. Shrine on two. Nothing much going on for now. I mean, Eski. Just had a first blood. RR doing pretty okay on top, dealing with the uh, that Luna and Child Demon. I think Luna and Child Demon on top. I I kind of doubt that decision though. Hmm. We activated armor, keeping him alive. Not so long. He was fouled by that life dealer. What have we here? 
here. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. RR. Or sorry, Gal RR. Being hit by XY Telekinesis is very nice pop and ninja bookie. Stop that jabs from dealing damage to RR. Grand King tried to come back and do another borrow swipe, but it would be a little too risky. On um, lane, a man fight between Timothor and Bakarski. Quick Kasi. Picking an em Ember Spirits against this lineup is, is kinda... Mm. I didn't... I... think Minesi didn't... Expect that Urza Warrior pick from Faces, to be honest. Especially when it comes to Urza Warrior mid. Side side side, trying so hard to survive in this lane. Now let's take a look on top. Ember Spirits on Invisible. Here we go, Searing Chain and Flame Guard easily take down that black. Side it off with a burst strike right by RR. Nice gank by the number. Now the question is what will Ember Spirit item build? What will be? It might be a face wood blade mail, the Chinese style, or just go for a power trade build of this court, like the Western style. But personally, I really like the face boot and a uh, face boot blade mail, and then after that, go for some mental style. I think with that kind of item build, he will be a lot faster to gank instead of needing to farm like boot of travel and view of this board. Basky Mekasi. Basky Mekasi. Pretty good early game for Team Mineski. We need to get a few kills. Now let's take a look at the network. Network leading by Miracle. Do you know why his name is Miracle? So my theory is, I, I, I never asked him straight why you, why, why you spell Miracle with E, but my theory is he doesn't believe in Miracle. He, he believed in himself that he can make Miracle, so he went for me, Miracle. Wow, that's kinda deep, isn't it? But meanwhile, a very nice right back by Faces on top. Get rid of the Sand King. Here we go. Miracle is right here. Flame Guy is ready. Waiting for the Searing Chain. Fire Rim Nantin. Popping quite low. Not that low though. Half HP. I don't think he, he has enough damage to take out Timothor. A crumb. Try to lure Miracle. Miracle, go all the way. All the HP left. Come on. Oh. That was really close. What I like about Miracle as a mid laner is he's, he's a very, very aggressive mid laner. Now his teammates on top in big trouble. RR dropping quite low, being bashed by the bomb of that Ember Spirit. Joe's running away from three heroes of team faces. Stop him by using the disruption. Try to do some body block. Border Smash is gonna hit him. A fire. Um, a double kill by XY. Dyer's middle three to three game score. Him is all on the bottom lane. Uh, it's not rushing his arcane boot. He's just gonna go for it. The casual claw first. 
Bossy McCarthy. Disruption on top once again. Team up with the boulder smash. Didn't even use the rolling boulder. Yet. RR saving his team, maybe the burrow strike, you'll be fine. Dyer's top is under oh, attack. dropping so low, juice, one hit, easiest kill of death life. But look at that body block. Oh no, actually, that mud golem body block himself. However, XY managed to kick him. Do fall down, that is the first time the team faces Radiant's take the lead. Tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So I run him and the happy center for the first time. Collect misses and also a fade bow. They use every single spell to take down the eyes I side. Meanwhile, they lost the top tier one tower to team faces. Might looking for a trade, but the tower is still like full HP. Never refuse gold given. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. The is to the Radiant. A solo Roshan by Ursa Warrior. Fates Boo Tamer Dominator on his way to a Blink Dagger. A pretty good farm by Ursa Warrior. Ember Spade on invisibility. Chasing down that XY. Can he rolling boulder away? He's just gonna kick first, rolling over him. Searing Chain. But it was kind of short distance, Searing Chain. He was, he was stopped. Uh, I mean, his rolling boulder was stopped by the Searing Chain, and that's... A lot of gold go to... Ember Spirits. 500 gold. In the boogie. My Kinesis is back. It's gonna be a Timber Saw. And... Wait, I thought I saw... The light healer, oh, actually, light healer for Minetti side. That rolling boulder, boulder smash. Dropping quite low for light healer, trying to find someone to get into. Man fighter, rage on, open wound on, on the side side side, burst right where it is. A shot from already comes out. Right side side, playing like a goddamn Gundam right there, tanking every single damage for his teammates. And now Magnetize already been dropped, another Timber Chain in, and at the same time with the Chakrams. Nice side sides, a pretty good bait and tank. Base created for Ursa Warrior in middle lane. Gaps about to take down the mid tower. Nux got the bomb. Right here is right here, but Gaps is never afraid of it. He got the power earth shot. Basky Mekasi. Now Drew is trying to save the mid laner. But he got caught by the boulder smash and the loose and beam. I like how Black playing with his teammates this one. I mean they they exactly know how they're gonna play this game. They're grouping up and they're pushing very fast with the uh, Luna and Chow Demon combo. I really like how they play this game for Team Faces. The game plan is very clear. All of them execute quite well so far. So, so I can get that Cloud Demon. Dropping quite low now, they lost the nuts. Here we go. 6 to 6 games go. Who's gonna get the first hand kill? We might know. So, Zero in chain going. Oh my. Fire Remnant Sin. That's gonna be another kill. But he's on Aegis, no problem. A very warm welcome with the bird flight at his center. Double kill for Basky Megasi. Arkin Rune. 6 to 8. Game is not done yet for Minesi, even though they lost a lot of powers to team faces. I can show you the graph. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Faces are so far ahead because of the towers they get. Now it seems like experience has been dropping uh, drastically on uh, Team Minetsky. Take a look at the levels. 
Ember Thrift, level 12, was his first. 15% spell amplification. He went for a build discord first. And on his way to a boost of travel. Sand King getting close. I think Sand King gonna go for plus 200 mana. Somebody gonna get caught. It's gonna be Miracle. Dodging streak ended by black. Black pushing. Oops, I'm so sorry, I missed the action so today. It was a solo kill by Timbersaw on Over Magai. It seems like Faces is gonna get another tower. Ineski didn't even get one single tower out of Faces yet. And now Faces about to go for the fifth towers. Scout Batter is on the way for us award. Radiant structures are fortified. Dyer's top tower is under attack. So Demon Luna combo is just so toxic. Oral Strike gain and empty center dropping by low arm HP already. Teleport down. Can they make it to save the heart? I'm oh, sorry, the all player play king. Swipe ball down. RR gone. They might have to play one life or two. Not a good trade for Team Ineski. They lost the mid laner as well. Face that. Mongrel. Just like when you went into a wrong house, a wrong party, bro. It was supposed to be at your friend's party, the high school friends, and then you open up. You see a lot of gangster inside. You can't be just like, oops, wrong house. <laughs> That's too easy. Eleven to nine game score. Uh, 17 minutes in. Seems to be a very good game for Team Faces. Uh, in the past four games that uh, they play against uh, the BG and Geek Fam, they always had a uh, um, very bad early game for Team Faces. It's actually the first time today that they take the lead in early. Actually a bait. However, the bait died. <laughs> Make a kill for Basti Mektasi. But it was of course it, it is still too soon to say that Minesi already lost his game. Look at that face food. Abed Morikian. And on his way to a stop crash. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. By Sealer. You gotta get inside Ember Spirits. Ember Spirits on his way to a Blink Dagger. So what I need to do is just Blink in Searing Chain, release a Life Sealer. And I think we'll be fine. Luna with the Dragon Lands, getting closer and closer to his mentor style. It's only 18 minutes. To the top. Asuki Mikasi is the target. Staying in front. Somebody gonna get this drop first? Nope. It's actually Luna. Man, that Shadow Demon Luna combo is just so hard to deal with. Oh, Lane Team is all. Not getting his um, bloodstone yet. Uh, I think that the, the time rate for blood, bloodstone should be around like 23 minutes. After that, consider you got a very late farm. Radiant use on scan. It is all RR inside. It knows that Sand King is staying inside.
chamber. Uh, Life Sealer gets inside the Sand King, ready to jump in and do a burrow strike. It seems like they saw XY inside the tree line. And they are here, XY, XY taking a nap. Burrow strike catching him. Very easy kill. Nice catch. Not a good camp for XY. with a blink dagger, hammer dominator, and skull basher. His talent tree went for plus 25 damage. And his next talent, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be attack speed. Oh, this guy's talent tree. Movement speed, actually. He didn't go for a plus 6 all stats, but he needs a movement speed. So right now he got like... Uh, with the blood loss, his movement speed up to 513. That is almost a haste. Can't run away from this guy. Top lane. That's not a fight going on. It's not a fight with Oten Boonda. All that. Yes, finally. The Eclipse comes out. Get, get rid of the um, black. Oh, actually, yeah, life still are gone. Magnetize is gonna hit that over Magi too, and he died. The style for Black. Nice, pretty good chance for them to take down the top tower. Only a few hits away. Maybe they're trying to push one, this one here too. Everything seems to be under control of the faces. Hirako went for a huge step of divinity in order to save himself from some spells and to set it up. Chain in searing heat. But by, you know, but by question is how are you gonna survive late game when, when you don't have any physical damage items now first one who goes out is a sand king and the second one is a life stealer it's so easy to take life stealer down with the ursa warrior a pretty good draft when he faces with plaque it's ready to push bottom lane get this power get the try and they are ready for the high ground Damage for the black. Dyer's bottom tower That was fast. Problem with Dyer still got an Aegis. So they're going for the shrine first. Bodo's mad, very nice blink. And a kick. Bodo's match by the XY. XY Earth Spirit is quite good, actually. 100% win rate today. He picked it like two or three times to win it all. The Zor is in front trying to tank the damage. Here comes Black. Haven't probably his mental style yet. That was the um, disruption illusions. Look at that disruption illusions. Force them back. 
Now space to aim for team of faces to take down the first tier 3 tower and maybe going for Rax too. Viraka will be in the ill set but still not have that much impact in the game yet. Both of them dropping quite low. Shark Crown almost killed him. But look at that boomerang coming out from Luna. Almost killed Luna. Both of them and he comes this out to make. Ninja Boogie, however, take down the Timothal though. Five red lands away. Look at the sky from Miracle. Jimmy Nesky looking to spend this one in discipline. Popping quite low already. Finally, they get rid of that Aegis. And he's gonna come back again. Bank away and try and run away. Earth Chalk to slow them all down. Nice setting up by Eel Scepter. For a slight in. Bonus land as well. The fight not over yet. Sanking might be the next one to go down. He came back so fast to the to the fight scene, but he was all he chains in and he gets one kill that's sending in the top one, dropping quite low and slow that Darcy down, Kimba chains in and he got another kill for that ice ice ice. That Kimba saw is the real cancer in this one. Still hang around, look at that. Sounds like the ex-boyfriend that will never go away. Oh my goodness, look at that. He still hang around keeping Char Charcrum and Pima Chain people reactivated armor. He got 46 armor at the moment, finally being taken down by the spells of Miracle. That was a big win. I don't think Pima saw bought back, he just came back because of Bloodstone. 10k experience change and Mineski's managed to defend the Barak. That was worth it. A big one for Mineski. Blessings upon a loyal warrior. We gotta we gotta give the credit to Mineski because as we if you notice just now you see that Mineski defending with a very high discipline. Like none of them going mad and trying to go in first were becoming greedy or what they wait until faces coming in too deep they wait for the chance to strike back that's a lot of kills fair of team mineski Trying to chase the team all down. I gotta inform you guys that this is going to be the last best of two match for today. But tomorrow we still have three best of two matches. Same time, same place, right here. Don't start at the English. Confused or X1 trying to run away. Glimmer Cave is not gonna help the slide of fish to take him down. Now faces. Under attack. On his way to a Lincoln Sphere for Ember Spirit, so he can be saved from all the spells or disruption. Or do you really need a Lincoln Sphere? Or maybe you want to cast a Lincoln Sphere on the Life Stealer. But you know, personally, I, I would just go for something damaged like a Bell Fury. Let's take a look at this one. Look at the graph team network. Faces. I hate in terms of golden, but when it comes to XP, oh, Ninja Boogie almost. Look at the fade that photo smash fade. Fancy footwork coming up from Ninja Boogie. He knows that that guy gonna do, use the photo smash. He flings away. Now nah, they doesn't have. They don't have a boulder smash. Oh, yeah, that's quite fast cooldown, sorry. Boulder smash is only around like 10 second cooldown. And here we go, Luna is not gonna miss this one. A lot of illusions and disruption, illusions, and also the mental side creating four Lunas. Look at that, power about to drop, and they lost the brain trap already. Finally, a swipe from behind. Life dealer was stunned. Bonus match! Oh my goodness, now he got a call where he was unable to do a free hit life to the down because of the abyssal blade. I'm pretty sure it's not even a oh it was an abyssal blade. Abyssal stun is too strong. Sanking bought back right away. 
Seems like Face is trying to end the game right here. They know that he, Life Dealer doesn't have a buyback, so they gotta defend without Life Dealer for at least 40 seconds. That must be enough time. Miracle trying to buy some time for his teammates. Life of Fish here and there doing some ninja job. GG has been called from Basky Mekasi. Face has taken the lead. 1 0 in this Battle 2 series. We're gonna take a break for a few minutes and we will jump into the next game. Radio.